Hi, and welcome back to Kitty Plays Inherit the Earth Quest for the Orb. Last time we were talking to Sis, and he told us that this ring is a very bad sign because it means that the boars have made a pact with the wolves, and it's most likely a military pact. So he also sent us to the um, back to the crime scene to get some plas and get some plaster. Uh, to take a cast of that paw print that we found and take it back to him so he can identify it With that he says he can tell us where we need to go because the berries that we already gave him They're gone the berries they tell him one of multiple areas where the thief might be from and yet again you can see me struggle with English words, although I'm, when I write, I'm actually rather good at English. I hear from, from US friends, I hear that my English is better than theirs, which is kind of weird to me, because I think my English is kind of bad. On the other hand, one thing that my boyfriend told me, <laughs> which, is, which is pretty neat, he said, that at some point I start going into Homer Simpson mode. It's when, I, when I'm when i lost for words and I'm always saying um, the, uh, uh, you know, like I, I'm thinking of Homer Simpson at the poker party, you know, <laughs> sitting there with his, <laughs> with his friends playing poker and someone said, Homer, you're always so slow. Or so, I, I watched it in German, so I'm basically translating it back to English so it might not be literal quotes. Homer, you're always so slow. Then the camera zooms to its br to his brain. Hmm, someone said something. Was it a good thing or a bad thing? It was a bad thing. And then it's, it zooms back to, to the poker table and Homer says, I can't let that stand or something like that. And you see it's night already. March comes in. Who me? I thought you were in bed. <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> ah, the Simpsons. Okay. Anyhow, we were wanting to get back into the tunnels or head back into the tunnels and always follow the left wall, which is this one, to see if we find something else. I think it was the left wall. I hope. I hope I'm not just going back, although I think my mission currently is just to go back. Let's see if I go to... Yeah, this is where we came from, so it's... So I'm sorry, it was the right... It was the right wall that we were following. So just for reference, we went over here, and now we're following the wall to our right-hand side, which is this wall here, and head in here. Because I'm pretty sure we are able, uh, remembering correctly, that we are able to meet Scory, who beat us in the contest in year two. Copy paste room. And another one. And yet another one. So these are pretty common here in the tunnels. Could be that these are actually the rooms that people live in, and only this special room was separated so so it opens this oh no, wait a second, this looks like a bedroom. So this looks like a whole family of rats with multiple pairs is living in one room. This is not, not how I want to live, to be honest, together with lots of others. Okay, let's see where this hallway leads us. Following the wall. Hello, good sir. I am a red, nothing to see here. Oh look, this is a different room than the previous copy and paste rooms. Let me take a little drink. Also, 
unbeknownst to me, I was fooling you all the time. Because I didn't set up the image correctly. So yes, you are indeed seeing me correctly, or you are indeed seeing me, but not quite correctly. Let me real quick correct that, it's just a few clicks. Let me see. Nope, that was wrong. One second. There we go, this is right. Because this is a mirror, so the camera image needs to be mirrored. And I need to move it a little bit, so it's inside the mirror again. There we go. Perfect. Now we can head on. Actually, the real thing is, it was confusing for me. I'm moving left and expecting the mirror image to move left because it's it looks like a mirror. And it didn't because it's the camera feed instead. It's it's sealed shut. I wonder what the word quarantine means. Uh, let's not head there. I think I don't want to catch COVID. Yeah. So there was nothing more there. Yeah. Now the image you see in the mirror looks more like me in the mirror. I mean, it wouldn't make a difference to you because you don't know how I really look, basically, but as I said, it's confusing me. I'm going to check out the whole rat labyrinth because I don't want to miss anything. Also, I'm looking forward to coming back to the other two who are conf trying to confuse or who are confusing the doorkeeper. Who are you? Who are you? I am the doorkeeper. <laughs> uh, I am so easily amused. So it looks like these are study rooms. On the other hand, there are so many, so it could also just be like something like living rooms. I don't really get it, but I think it's just... I think it's not made for you to think too much about it. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? I'm the doorkeeper. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? I said I... Who are you? I'm the doorkeeper! Who is he? That's right. What? That's my nickname! <laughs> That's my nickname! <laughs> oh, those two are so hilarious. I love them. Okay, now let's see if we can buy some plaster at the Ferret Village. Shall we? Love the, the tunes. There's so much that I love about this game. This is why I needed to show it to you. Good day. May I show you some of my glass items? No, thank you. No, I don't want glass. Your I want glass wares are pretty indeed, but it is information I see. Information? This is not an information board. If you are not going to purchase anything, they suggest you move on. Okay, so he doesn't have plaster. I take it. Pardon me. Yeah. Ah, okay. I can just ask any passerby for plaster, which just makes sense. Like, hey, do you know? St I mean, are you here? Do you know a store where I can buy plaster, for example? Could you tell us where we might find some plaster? Sorry, plaster's not my cup of tea, if you catch my drift. Well, sorry to take up your time then. 
Good day. Okay. Um, there is a cup, but no tea, so maybe that's his cup of tea. Ha <laughs> bad joke alert. <clears throat> yes? We are looking for some plaster. Then I suggest you try the pub. Someone is always plastered there. <laughs> okay, their puns are better than mine, definitely. See you later, then. <laughs> Good day to you. I think that one didn't translate well, to be honest. I don't think that I, I... I can't remember that joke at all from the German version. So either it didn't translate well or I just didn't recognize it as a kid. So we're looking for plaster. I'm just still going to open up one of the homes. Hoping to find one that's under construction. Maybe the plaster is there now. Sometimes games like this have triggers which enable you to suddenly find something. Excuse what me. What about that one? Yes. We are looking to purchase some plaster. Well then, I hope you find some. <laughs> Ferrets. What village is this? This is the ferret village and site of the Tinker's Lodge. Well, thank you for your time. See you later. <laughs> See you later. I hope you find some. I was pretty sure that there's kind of store here where we can buy the plaster or something we somewhere we can find the plaster. I'm pretty sure there was a sack of plaster laying around somewhere. But I can't tell you. To be honest, back then when I played it, mm, I actually had to like put the instructions next to me and it said yeah walk walk up the road then take a left and then then go in between these houses and there wasn't even a map so you had to like read the text and navigate based on that text I, I want to look past these wood things here no in the hopes to find some plaster I mean he said to try the pub why didn't he tell me where the pub is right There's some plaster We used to there. play with these when we were kids. Bucket is also just a bucket, right? It's still... Pretty step. Yeah. Bricks, swatches of paint. I've actually never heard the term swatches of paint. I only know swatch from, like, like the watch company. Pretty sure there was something like a store, but it could be that it's only the the glass store. <coughs> Ferret's being very helpful. But at least they had they have different lines, right? different jokes that they make when you ask for the plaster. It seems like the village is too small. It seems pretty big when I was playing as, it as a kid. On the other hand, when you're a kid, everything, everything seems bigger. I swear there is no alcohol in that drink. It's... Well, it's not a lemonade per se. It's an energy drink, but yeah. I'm going to try another place. Pretty sure that I got the plaster in that village, though. I'm not ready to look it up yet, but I have to say I'm going to spare you walk me walking around with no clue whatsoever. And uh, let me actually do like a, I don't know how you call it, like. A strip search or something well I think you strip search people I don't know like I'm just searching the whole map now that was the thing that I was doing when I was a kid also like trying to search the whole map scan the whole map to see if there is something it's 
so I don't miss something. The thing is, you don't see the boundaries of the map, so if you just leave the map ex accidentally, you have to start over, at least in these free, free-form maps where you don't know. Like, with the temple has the boundaries, right? The temple has the, the walls that you can't go further when you hit them. Dang it, I'm really sure that I got, I got the stuff here. At least I did remember that I had the doors open. Plaster be where could the plaster be? I don't know. That's really hard. I'm, I know I was in there before. Why is the door closed now? Do the ferrets close the doors even? I don't think that the developers entered. I added that as good. No, I don't want to. Inside there, I want to go around. Thank you very much. Hello? <coughs> yes? What the... Yeah. the we are looking... Then I suggest you try some... We are looking... Then I... Some, we are looking... Hello. Then I... Someone is... See you later, then. after 30 minutes of play. So basically, whenever the disc cat blinks, it means that we are to wrap up the episode. On the other hand, I have the OBS window open and the clock in view, so I can prepare and plan what to do as a last thing. So how about we check out this house so it doesn't get too boring and when the episode is over I'm going to look up where the plaster is. Because this is also a nice place. For you. Sunset. Sunset is when the sun goes down, right? I, I always keep mixing that keep mixing those words up. Well still. This is Tycho's house. I don't actually know if it, if he's pronounced Tycho in English. In German, it's Tycho. Hello, sir. We've come to Forever Mountain in hope of peering into the wildlands, that we might have some sort of idea where we are going. I am pleased to meet you. My name is Tycho Northpaw. Tycho. It is Tycho. Let me just pour another energy drink. And yes, I'm doing this to avoid product placement. You seem to have an excellent view up here. Have you had occasion to do much observation of the wildlands? 
Indeed I have. In fact, I have made maps of part of them. Indeed, most interesting. I am both an astronomer and cartologist. Cartologist? A map maker. Our new friend is a map maker. Perhaps you could tell us something about the Wildlands. I will tell you what I know of the Wildlands. It is a place of great danger. It is also a place of great magnificence. There are hostile tribes, treacherous terrain, and roaming reptiles. It is also a land of great beauty and power. It sounds like a truly wondrous place. I could just as easily be describing the known lands. But it sounds very different. In some ways, the wild lands are very different from the known lands. In some ways, they are very similar. He is a pretty nice guy. And I'm not saying this sarcastically. He is a pretty nice guy. And he's been talking about the Wildlands. And yes, of course, at some well, at some point, the main part of this game will be there, so... Have you ever been to the Wildlands yourself? I have not. With my <coughs> impaired sense of smell, I am at somewhat of a disadvantage in the wilds. I do, however, occasionally encounter a traveler who has been through the Wildlands, and he will supply me with information. Many fear the wild lands and say they are full of unspeakable dangers. That is only fear of the unknown. If you make the unknown known, the fear has nowhere to take root. These are true words. Can you give us any suggestions for our journey? Keep all of your senses on alert, especially your common sense. You will need them. So here the game assumes that, that we already played so far as to know that we need to go into the Wildlands, which I think is, well, they should have restricted the dialogue options or have him say something else. But it's still a very nice dialogue. I love his voice. The voiceover is awesome. He seems so really calm and it, it just fits this character very good. How much of the Wildlands can be seen from this mountain? That is hard to say. I cannot see as much as I used to when I had my light catcher. However, no one I have met has ever reached the other side and returned to tell their story. Yes, the Wildlands are a fascinating place, but there are some other things to discuss. Tell us about your scene. How did you come to live here on the edge of the Wildlands? I was born a member of the Dog Tribe, and raised to be a hunter. However, that career was cut short. You see, I suffer from hay fever, which not only renders my sense of smell useless, but on the hunt, my sneezing had a tendency to alert the prey to our presence. I soon became quite a liability to the hunting party. I'm terribly sorry. That must have been quite difficult for you. Not really. True, the other members of the tribe soon ostracized me, but I was never much of a hunter anyway. My heart just wasn't in it. I was much more interested in the stars. I would lie on my back night after night and watch them into the early hours of the morning. I charted their progress across the sky and studied them until I knew each and every one by heart. So I decided to become an astronomer. What led you to Forever Mountain? The king of the dog tribe at the time, Rex, had no use for astronomy. He considered it a waste of time. All he cared about was the hunt. So after I was ostracized, I decided to find the highest mountain I could from which to gaze at the stars. And that was here, Forever Mountain. Especially if you have a lighthouse built on top of it. What did you find when you first arrived here? I found this building. Just this building? Nothing more? Oh, yes. There were many other things. What kind of things? Instruments for seeing the stars. Light catchers, I call them. I believe they were actually left here by the humans before they ascended. 
So he, oh, here in the back, you can see a light catcher and a star and the earth. That's kind of neat. What makes you think they were left by humans? The items I found are far beyond our own technology. And you actually believe all of these humans ascended to the land of the clouds? Actually, I believe the humans ascended to the moon. What? The image we see on the moon? That is actually the face of a human. I believe they carved it there, so we would know that they are always looking down on us. Watching us and caring for us. Someday they will return. And when will that be? When we are good enough, when we have learned enough. When we have stopped fighting amongst ourselves and learned to live in peace. Only then will we be worthy. I find that hard to believe. Then what do you believe in, my young friend? I... I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Ah. That's also a very nice idea, the animals thinking that humans who have gone now believe he believes that we humans have fled to the moon um, or gone to the moon rather it's rather interesting because he believes we will come back and, and remember there is this I, I don't know if we will see the moon in this game but I believe when he talks about the face he's talking about the, the what we call the Mickey Mouse crater things I'm not really sure because I've never seen in any image of the moon I've never seen something like a real image not a photoshop one of course I've never seen something that I believe was looking like a face I don't know if that's a thing I've never heard of it or can't remember that I did I know this Mickey Mouse thing these three craters but else I don't know I'm, I'm actually curious if they have you able to see the moon and, and this face or something like that that's all very interesting of course but there are a few other things we'd like to discuss how did you come to make these maps from my vantage point here on the mountain I would look through my light catcher to the wild lands below I saw the hills and the valleys. If I saw an area of thick vegetation, I knew there must be water nearby. If it was a round, contained area, it was a lake. If it was a long, extended area, it was a river or stream. If at night I saw a fire, I assumed it must either be a campfire or a village. The size of the fire and the consistency of its occurrence told me which. So basically he is some kind of scientist. He makes observations and has hypotheses and checks them and then when when he's proven if he's right or not, or when he believes he's proven if he's right or not, he then puts them onto the map. He then he then says this is this is High probability this is what there is and I really like that there's this this person so you have the historian the rats you have this guy who's just kind of a scientist not just an astronomer but as a map maker he's, he's using as the author said he's using the common sense and you have the ferrets who are the builders you have um, the uh, yeah, well, the two rival uh, kingdoms so that's also a neat thing that they they put these archetypes into the game. You mentioned something called a light catcher. What is that? Ah, my light catcher. It is an instrument I found in this house. It makes objects that are far away seem close at hand. It makes the stars seem so close you could reach up and touch them. It makes the moon look as if it were right next door. What a wonderful apparatus. May we see it? I will show it to you, but I'm afraid the instrument itself is broken. About eight moons ago, I had it on my desk. 
A strong wind blew through my window, blowing papers to the floor and taking my light catcher with it. Part of it shattered, and it has not worked since. It still pains me to think about it. And that's actually really sad, because just imagine, the humans have gone, everyone with the knowledge what this thing is. I mean, he's definitely talking about the telescope. So, with the knowledge what a telescope is and how it works, it's gone. Then you find it, you discover what it can do, and you use it, and then it breaks. So basically, the last telescope on Earth that you know of, this, and, and you re it, your whole life revolves around that, your passion lies in that. So yeah, it must, must have been a very sad day for him. To be honest, if, if, if that was me, I think I would, have, I would have lain in bed crying for days. What part broke? This small, round, clear part. It cracked in half. And you've been unable to repair it? I am afraid so. That is most unfortunate. Such an instrument would help us greatly on our quest. There are a few other things we'd like to discuss. Go on. I'm not going to ask him for the map because, um, yeah, basically he will just decline because we have no reason to go into the wildlands. So I'm going to do that once we know that we have to go there and then we will need the map anyways before the game lets us go there. So we'll be on our way. Good luck to you. And as you can see, on the right side of the screen, the little disc icon is blinking, telling us that it's time to part ways for now, of course. And in the course of over the course of several days, or after several days, that is, or I could say over the course of several days, await an anxiously, impatiently. Well. I'm pretty sure you'll find a better word. Just put it down into the comments. So we will await the return of Kitty Place Inherit the Earth. And we will already know when it will be because right after this part, right after I stop the recording, there will be a D20 that will roll and show us how many days we need to wait. So I just say... Bye-bye, and see you then.